Hey everyone, Brandon Mason here with Eastman's Hunting Journals and Eastman's Hunting TV. Today what we're going to talk about is updating our five critical layers for late season hunting. And then you can actually strip down these layers for use in mid-season and early season hunting based on your individual needs, desires, comfort levels, etc. The first thing that Scott is wearing here is an outer shell that's waterproof, windproof, yet breathable. And then this is the actual dew point um, from Sitka and he's got that as his outer layer to keep the wind off of him It can hold his heat in a little bit better even though it is breathable it's, it's not as breathable as a soft shell layer or as a merino wool layer for example or as a base layer and so uh, Scott's going to go ahead and take this layer off to get down to the next layer which is our insulating layer now we're down to our insulating layer now, for some people, they prefer an insulated hooded parka like he's got on now. Some people prefer an insulated vest like I have on. And a lot of times what I go towards in the later season is the parka. And in the early to mid season, I use the vest because I don't need quite the, the extreme temperature control that I do in later seasons. And so he's got the, the late season heavy duty parka on that's still super lightweight, super packable the down fibers that are used along with some synthetic fibers and many of the garments that are out today are just truly remarkable they're waterproof um, not the, not the outer materials are they're water resistant but the, the down inside is actually waterproof so there's less of a danger less of a risk of uh, hypothermia so now we're going to shed this layer we're going to go down to the next layer which is a fleece layer or a soft shell layer depending on what your preferences are Now Scott is down to his fleece layer. Some people prefer a soft shell layer. Uh, this last year or two, I've really gone more to a fleece mid layer because it really increases the R value of your whole heating system. Um, it's not very windproof. So if you're in high wind conditions, you're gonna to wanna to put that outer shell over top of this or wear more of a soft shell jacket that'll keep more of the wind off than a fleece will. The nice thing is they breathe really well. Now we're gonna shed this fleece jacket you go down to our hooded layer that's our next layer, our second layer, which some people prefer a merino wool hooded layer, others prefer a synthetic outer layer. Right now, Scott's got the synthetic hoodie on from Sitka. It's, uh, it's just a fantastic layer, has a hood on it so you can instantly regulate your temperature during day hunts without having to completely put a stocking cap on, take your ball cap off. It's just, I, I absolutely love it. I, I kind of rotate back and forth between a merino wool and a synthetic layer depending on uh, the trip that I'm on. So now we're under, underneath this layer um, is the first and probably, in my opinion, one of the more critical layers. That's your base layer. We here at Eastman's are really big on using merino wool as your first and primary layer in your layering system. Underneath this hooded layer, Scott's got a long sleeve quarter zip merino wool shirt on that he'll show you by unzipping uh, the hood so he can see you at least down to the chest what that merino wool layer will look like. And there's lots of good merino wool out there in the market now. We've used pretty much every brand um, that's out there. And as long as it comes from really top grade merino wool, it is phenomenal at thermoregulation. It's not itchy. It doesn't absorb human odors. Uh, we use it on our hunts when it's in August uh, bow hunting antelope, when it's 80 to 100 degrees outside because it breathes so well and it's almost like having a, a natural air conditioning system on all the way up until late season hunts like we're on now where we really need our core to be warm and hold that heat in and wool is phenomenal at that when you're using it as part of a layering system. That's our five critical layers that we go to here at Eastman's and that a lot of Western hunters do. We hope this helps you be more prepared and safer in the backcountry and all your adventures, especially uh, so you can keep safety and comfort and success all in one uh, cohesive equation for your trips up in the high country. That's this week's tip. Thanks for joining us. Hey guys, Ike Eastman here with the Eastman's Hunting Journals Gear Labs. I'm doing what everybody else is doing. I'm cleaning up equipment, trying to get uh, the season over with and go on to show season. I wanted to share something with you guys that we've been doing and uh, working on for quite some time. We're doing an Eastman exclusive YouTube channel that's gonna have its own webisodes, it's gonna have exclusive gear tips, it's gonna have exclusive 
old time footage, stuff that we um, aren't able to run elsewhere, stuff from the winter range, all that stuff. So make sure you subscribe so that you get alerted every time that something new pops up there. Still looking to take that once in a lifetime Western trophy? Eastman's hunting and bow hunting journals are the number one magazines for Western big game trophy hunters. Eastman's is the only big game hunting magazine engineered specifically for you, featuring entertaining Western hunting adventures, detailed equipment lists with head-to-head -head gear reviews, and species-specific tips and tactics. In the back of each subscriber issue, you'll find the exclusive members research section. We give you detailed statistical info, expert analysis, and advice on the hottest big game units. Act now. Subscribe to Eastman's Hunting or Bow Hunting Journals and we'll throw in our latest trophy hunting DVD absolutely free. Shipping and handling charges apply. Eastman's, getting you on track to your trophy. Get all this for less than the price of six rounds of ammo. Eastman's, your stories, your photos, your magazines. Call to subscribe or get it digitally now.